for that. Well, big mall on the peninsula with a story past is shutting its doors. The Tan Fran Mall was just sold to a biotech company, and Charles Clifford is there for more on the story, and he joins us live. Hi, Charles. Hi there. Yeah, the Tanfern Mall right behind me here. Uh, it's been here since the 70s. It's been very popular. Uh, it sits at a prime spot uh, for redevelopment in between a 101, 280, 380. This is a BART station right behind me here. Caltrain just down the street. Uh, so it is a very popular spot. Let's go ahead and take a look at some video here. Now, uh, the mall has struggled in recent years as it competes with online retail. Also, the pandemic has hit this mall really hard. Uh, the, one of the two main anchors, the Sears store, closed a couple of years ago. J.C. Penney, the other big anchor, uh, is uh, in bankruptcy right now. So the city of San Bruno has been looking for someone to come in and redevelop this site. And it looks like they found a taker. Alexandria Real Estate uh, bought three parcels here, 44 acres for 300 million roughly. And they plan to put a life science campus here, office space. Uh, it could also include some housing, which is certainly something the city of San Bruno is hoping for. I did talk to some neighbors today who uh, uh, are a little concerned about what all this could mean for the people who work here and the future of this area. It will be a, a new um, source of uh, employment uh, for the people of uh, San Bruno and the nearby uh, Places, but uh, I feel sorry for the also for the the persons uh, who will be uh, uh, unemployed become unemployed. I've uh, lived in Sabre my whole life, and I can't get a biotech job. So um, it's uh, this is the case of them pushing people out again. All right, back live now. At this point, uh, we haven't seen any specifics, any site plans on how exactly they plan to use uh, this site or redevelop it. That certainly will be an ongoing conversation with the city of San Bruno over the months and years ahead. But for now, in San Bruno, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News. Charles, thank you for that report.